Kwangu mimi ni changamoto kwa maana watu walikuja wengi takriban elfu sita lakini nikakuwa nika mmoja wao wale kumi ambao wali, walipasa kuchaguliwa katika department yangu. Kwangu ni changamoto kwa maana sasa ni kama dau limengoa nanga. Safari imeanza. Now Freedom Work was introduced into the Kenyan media space that is about 10 years ago when KTN of the Standard Media Group launched the presenter a show that was seeking to pull media talents from across the country and come up with the finest of them and she actually managed to become part of that team that was selected out of the thousands of contestants who made it there she is my guest on this particular episode you're watching inside the newsroom this is the show and like i've always told you that seeks to preserve the legacy of our journalism and celebrate journalists who've done a lot to ensuring that they are bringing the world closer to the facts the vice versa is also true remember this show is brought to you with support from betkumi so remember to visit www.betkumi.com and win as much as 3000 times your stake and that is happening whether you are in kenya you are in uganda you are in zambia wherever you are that is the platform to ensure that you watch your winnings happen and payouts happening almost at the same time instant payouts for every game you play. Frida, mm. welcome to the show. Asante. I don't know if I should compose myself if become an investigative journalist. Some my well, name is well. Frida. Umejona? Kifua mbele kidogo hivi. Watu wa Lakini kama una kifua unacho kama huna huna. My name is Frida. Eh. Nyacheni na Kiswahili changu. Asante sana. Thank you for inviting me. And I'm glad you didn't hesitate to come to the show. I had to because I love you and I love what you do. Bora ujue sina pesa. <laughs> Mimi niliwambia mnipende lakini hauna hela. Mjue sina Siku pesa. Siku zote obuya unasema hauna. Pesa. Kama sina pesa sina pesa. Maanisha sina... wewe ni mkora. Nyinyi ndio wenye hela sasa. Sura ngani. Hmm? Kama sina pesa sina pesa. Uweze enda gym kama una pesa sasa. Lakini wao wanasema watu wa gym ni wale hawana hela. Wameenda huko tu kutafuta watu. But I stopped going to the gym. Oh, you did? In 2017. Why? Is everything okay? Niliacha ndo nipata kitambi nikaa nikama nina pesa. Unjua unokitembea na kitambi chako umevaa yale. Unapata heshima kidogo. Umevaa yale mashati ya check. Ama yale ya maua maua. Yanapendwa sana pale isli. Sana. Unatembea ni kama una pesa na zile blazer za color. Bas. Umevaa pale blazer yako ya beige. Mm. Rangi ya nini? Umevalia pale unatembea unakana kama una pesa. Una pesa na labda huna lolote. Sasa niliacha kwenda gym nipata kitambi lakini <laughs> Ah, wajua waswahili wanasema nini kuhusiana na kitambi? Wanasemaje? Wanasema kwamba ujauzito na kitambi. Mm. Ah, ah, urefu na ufupi Mwenyezi Mungu kakupa. Mm. Lakini mimba na kitambi mm. ni juhudi zako wewe mwenyewe. Sasa hapo kwa mimba <laughs> nitajaribu. <laughs> Nitie bidii yangu. Nitie bidii, nitie fanya kazi. Welcome to the show Frida. Thank you so much. We began this show like I said we want to celebrate the good legacy mm. of our journalism in this country. I just yeah. sat down and realized that we've been telling stories all this while mm. but I never really see us tell our own stories. Mm. Nobody gets to hear our story. Yeah, yet I believe that there is a lot of um inspiration that comes unasikia kizungu eh ndio kuna watu ambao mnadhani sijui kizungu yet i believe kwamba there's a lot of inspiration that comes from the stories we have to tell mm -hmm. mm. what do you think of the idea itself by the way i like it i like it cuz hata mimi pia kama mwanhabari mara nyingi nimejiuliza ilo swali mm -hmm. kwamba tupo mbioni kutoa taarifa mm -hmm. oh walifanywa hivi kikafanyika hiki kikafanyika mm -hmm. kile mm -hmm. lakini ni nani ambaye atakaa siku moja tusikize kwa sababu pia sisi kama wanhabari tuna yetu ambayo tunapitia mm -hmm. na hivi majuzi umeona katika mitandao ya kijamii wanhabari ndio wanatanda kwamba uh, mental health Mm. ina to affect who is here to hear our story. Mm. Wajua kuna ile mentality ambayo iko kule nje kwamba wanhabari kuna vile wapo, yani wako na hela fulani. Kuna watu wengi sana wananiona mimi Frida, wanaona kama mimi ni mheshimiwa. 
kila ninayokutana naye naomba hela naomba hela mbona mimi pia nisiombe na nikiomba pia inakuwa tatizo unaona na sasa vile mwenyewe unasema unatafuta kitambi sasa kwa sababu kule nje watu hawakupatia heshima kwa hivyo it's time we should also be hard because mm. we have a lot we are human beings we are no robots mm. you know i meet people in the streets and some treat me like i'm a robot and i'm like hey guys i'm a human being ukinipata downtown kule mimi nimefunga kitambaa changu mm. na ukotokota material mimi ni fundi jamani na shona mm. nguo mm. na ukotokota material mtu anaona ni kama ninafanya dhambi kubwa sana kwa nini mm. mimi ni binadamu niko na maisha yangu kwa hivyo obuya you doing something good mm. and as i told you this is going to be big than you expect itakuwa mm-hmm. kubwa zaidi tena sana kwa sababu pia watu wamechoka na habari za siasa watu wanataka kusikia jamani Frida mwaka anaamka vipi analala vipi mm-hmm. anakula nini mm-hmm. anapenda nini ni kipi ambacho kinamchukiza mm-hmm. kwa this is big i'm proud of you honestly i am bora bado ujue kwamba sina nini huna hela sina sasa uba yako ni kushinda ukisema huna hela huna hela hela hazitakufuata <laughs> Ah. So let's begin at that part. Hapo mm-hmm. ambapo umepataja kwamba yale ambao watu wangependa kujua ni kwamba labda Frida Mwaka ni nani mm-hmm. na ameanzia wapi? Mm-hmm. Imekuwa kuaje au ni wataita wanapenda kusema imekuwa kuaje? Imekuwa kuaje. <laughs> kina wakesho. Eh yeah, kina wakesho mm-hmm. Cecilia. Mm-hmm. Imekuwa kuaje mpaka kwamba umefika pale ambapo umefika? ni maono kizuruzuru mataifa taifa ni nini umetembea tembea pale Ghana mm. sikizu unavalia kama mtu wa kule Ghana Nigeria <laughs> juzi nimekuona ni kama umeingia kwa worship team Iyo What pi- do you mean Obuya Naona pale kwenye status unaweka picha umesimama kama prophetess nini <laughs> Imekuaje Frida? Prophetess Mkemchika. Hey, hey, I can prophesy over your life. Ah, ah, wacha, wacha. Should I start? Wacha. <laughs> wacha jamani. Sali zuri sana. Mm. Uh, mimi kiukweli kabla hata sijajitosa ndani na nikupatie historia yote. Mm. Kabisa lazima niseme kwamba mimi kufika pale ambapo nimefika ni Mwenyezi Mungu. I have to give credit to God. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu yeye ndo alinileta katika dunia hii mm-hmm. na pia toka nilipokuwa mtoto mdogo kama miaka mitatu minne hivi mm-hmm. nilikuwa napenda sana umbea kule mnarani mafumbini pale kilifu zariguta karna nene hey. huko ndani sasa mtoto nilikuwa napenda umbea vijijini yani kukipikwa papa mm. samaki wajua mimi nimetoka katika maeneo ambayo mm. watu wanapika ugali mm. wanapika mpaka na mchuzi wa maembe mm. hakuna hela ya nyama mm. sasa nilikuwa nikiona vitu kama vile vinanigutusha naje nyumbani sasa napatia wazazi wangu habari Nawaambia sasa mimi ndio kanze dena. Mm. Ehe. Na habari yangu naanza sasa. Naopatia habari. So it started toka nikiwa mtoto mdogo. Na wazazi wangu walijua huyu atakuja kuwa mwanahabari. Kwa sababu hakungefanyika lolote mafumbini mm. bila Frida mwaka kujua kilichotokea kwa jirani. Mm. Lakini wazazi wangu walikuwa na ile neema ya kunisikiza. Mm. Kwa sababu kuna wazazi ambao watasema wewe unyamaza wewe mm. una mdomo mkubwa kama mamako mm. mimi mdomo ndio umenileta hapa mambo ya watu wazima hayo eh hey, mambo ya watu wazima yaache mm. wakikula paka, papa vinakuwa shiani <laughs> we lakini sasa my parents saw the positive side of it mm. na wakona kwamba this child can actually do good in public speaking mm. so when i was in primary school i ventured into public speaking mara yangu ya kwanza kukutana na uh, rice moy ilikuwa kwa sababu ya poem nilifanya ya mtoto wa uh, wanaitwa nini street kids mm. watoto wa kurandaranda mm. ikamgusa sana mpaka akanibeba na akanipatia 50000 na walipunipatia 50000 nikapatia headmaster wetu akatunulia chips na sausage the whole school that man pocketed a lot of money right now ndio inani hit cuz maybe that time chipona ku, na sausage the whole school labda just costed him like 5000 or 10000 Nataka turudi nyuma kidogo ili kwamba sitaki nikusikie nataka nikuelewe. Mm-hmm. Unasema kwamba ulipewa 50000 ama mlipewa? Nilipewa mimi. Ukampa nani tena? Nikampatia headmaster, silikuwa tofanya poem. Oh, as a Christian, yani not as a Christian, just as a student because I'm there tuko hapo kama shule, tumeenda ku, kuhariri uh, kuhairi mashairi, mm. shairi langu likapendwa sana. 50000 50000 Alisema 50,000. That's what I remember. Mm. And master akachukua Mr. Tunje. Alikuwa anaitwa Tunje. Alichukua haraka sana hiyo pesa. Jamani kama kuna mtu anajua <laughs> alipo Mr. Tunje, mwambie kwamba <laughs> tungependa kusema naye. No it's fine. Eh. Tulikuwa watoto wadogo na nditupatia chips na kuku the whole school. I mean chips na sausage the whole school. Lakini unafuzi ngapi hao? Tulikuwa wengi. Tuseme basi. Tuseme Mr. Tunje pocketed good money. <laughs> 
from the poem I did. Nashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu. Be- through public speaking nikakutana na Raila Odinga nilipokuwa mm. mtoto mdogo kabisa kinara wa ODM mm. hapa KICC mm. nilipatiwa topic ni sehemu ya public speaking kwa hivyo hii ni safari ambayo ilianza nikiwa mtoto mdogo mm. na i really thank god for parents and parents who can support their kids because my parents never pinned me down my mm. parents were there to support me mm. anytime kuna competition za shule freedom mwaka kosekana turudi sasa kanisani mimi ndo nilikuwa najua bible verses kama zote Masahani aliojaza mamangu hivi leo katika kabati lake ni kwa sababu ya mdomo wangu nikiwa mtoto mdogo. Masahani, vikombe, sufuria, ikifika Christmas lazima napatiwa zawadi. Kwa hivyo tuseme hii ni talanta ambayo Mungu aliiweka ndani yangu nikiwa mtoto mdogo na wazazi wangu wakanisaidia kuikuza. Mm. Sasa baadaye nimemaliza uh, shule upili ni no, nikiwa shule upili kukatokea competition fulani ya public speaking across Kenya. Mm. And I happened to to be one of the presidents for Eastern Province ambao tulichukuliwa sasa KICC and uh, Patrick Lumumba. Alikuwa anatufanyia mentorship ya kuzungumza. So again, that was a privilege. Then nikaingia chuo kikuu Daista. So for me the journey to be a journalist started in Daista. Mm. Because Daista kuna kituo cha redio. Shine. Shine FM. Mm. Na nikakutana pale na Caroline B. Ah, Caroline B. That was my she boss. Was very, she was your boss. That was my boss. Alikuwa station manager ama alikuwa nini? Station manager. Nakumbuka the first time I went for the interview, nilipatana na Caroline B kwenye corridor, akanambia, "Are you coming in for the interviews?" Niko, "Ya." Yeah. Akanambia, "Ukija hapa na unizungumzie kizungu, tutakosana." I will not give you the job. I want you to speak in Swahili. Obuya let me surprise you. Kama kuna mtu angewai niambia Frida Mwaka nitazungumza Kiswahili kitamu wa Kenya wakisikize uongo. Mimi nilikuwa na kizungu kizuri. Mtoto wa pwani nilikuwa nazungumza kizungu na tetemesha ardhi. Ah. Karola Ibi na kutana naye ananiambia umetoka pwani usiniletee uzungu. Zungumza Kiswahili. I didn't even know frequency kwa Kiswahili inaitwaje. Frequency ni masafa. Masafa ama mita bendi. Sikujua. Nakumbuka nilitoka nje nikakutana na jamaa fulani lazima umlete hapa. He's also a journalist radio maisha anaitwa Hassan. Tunamuita Anko Vuvuzela. Ndio nikamuuliza jamani frequency Kiswahili nini akaniambia sema mita bendi. Mm. Nikaingia interview nikapatana na Caroline B. Kuna huu mdada kwa KTN anaitwa Ashley. Mazuri. Ash na ah, si mazuri. Yeah. Is it Ashley? Ash. Ash. You know, she has a Asha Fox. Asha Fox. <laughs> Brian Osweta alikuwa uh-huh. BBC. Those uh-huh. were my bosses. Nipatana hey. nao sasa. Watu wanakalia vyo huko. Watu wanakalia vyo desta. Eh? Mm. Nikaingia pale ndani nikapiga link moja ya redio. Wajua sasa niko na ile confidence ya mitabendi. <laughs> ah walijua wajui. Sijui Kiswahili kilitoka wapi. Nilipiga link moja Caroline B akasema you have the job. And that's how I started. Were they paid? No. Ile ilikuwa tu redio ya, ya shule. Yaani Caroline B anakutisha hivi vyote na hakulipi. <laughs> Sasa heri Caroline B, mimi nasikia Selly Kadota alifuta kila mtu kazi. <laughs> Mlete hapo mwambie akueleze kwa nini alifuta watu kazi. Muulize Brian na Selly. Watu walifuta kazi na Selly Kadota. <laughs> Selly Kadota akasema mm. nyinyi. And this is a fellow student. Uh, But leadership inaanza tukiwa watoto wadogo. Mm. So that is how I said. Lazima started. lazima kulikuwa na sababu and there has to be discipline in the things yes. that people do. And look at Sally now, she's one of the biggest radio presenters we have in the country. Mm. So ilianzia kitambo. Kwa hivyo mimi nikaingia sasa kwenye radio, nikajitosa pale katika kipindi na Anko Vuvuzela ambao hivi sasa pia ni mwanahabari wa radio mkubwa sana Radio Maisha, Hassan mm. Omar. Tukaanza kipindi kinaitwa Vuka ed- Mzuka Edition. Mzuka edition tulikuwa tunaleta wasanii kutoka nje. Haijaonekana Daystar. Tulitetemesha ile ilikuwa ni kama sasa ya jioni ya usiku. How far was the Rene? How far wa, was the frequency going? Athi River Machakos ilikuwa mm. inasikika shuka shuka kidogo Machakos. Mm. Eh Njom Lolongo panda panda juu kidogo ilikuwa inasikika. Mm. Kwa sababu kuna competition ilitokea. Mm na mimi na Hassan Omar tukawa the best radio presenters across universities in Kenya. Mm. So watu walisikia, ilikuwa inasikika kabisa watu wanapiga simu na sisi tulihakikisha kwamba kipindi chetu tunaleta watu wa maana. The likes of Kinanjugush, mm. the comedian, wote walikuwa nakuja kwenye kipindi chetu. Mm. Kwa hivyo tuli, tulitikisa anga kidogo. Mm-hmm. Na sasa hapo nikiwa Daystar ndio kwenye runinga nikaona advertisement ya the presenter mm. season 2. 
Nakumbuka wakati huo tukaenda likizo nikaenda Mombasa. Nipoenda kwenda Mombasa ngapatana na rafiki yangu anaitwa Michael Yena, he's one of the biggest gospel presenters in Mombasa. Mm. Yana tume yani tumekuwa watoto wadogo sote. Kwao na kwetu kitupa jiwe tu hivi litafikia kwao. Sasa mm. Yena ndo akaniambia twende ukamsalimie kakangu anaitwa Amani. Sasa hivi ni mchungaji mkubwa sana kwa na kanisa kubwa sana Malindi. Twende mm. tukamsalimie kakangu tukaenda kufika pale napatana na lofti matamu. That's how I met lofti. 2014. 2014. Yes. Lofti matambo mmoja. Nikapata lofti. Lofti naye sijui alikuwa ni intern ama alikuwa ni reporter KTN I can't remember. Mm. So tukizungumza ile advert ikapita tena. Mm. Lofti akaniuliza wewe hivi umefikiria kwamba unataka kujitosa hapa? Nikamwambia I want to I want to try lakini mimi nitafanya na kimombo. Mm. Lofti akaniambia usijaribu. Mm. Mtoto wa pwani usijaribu kupeleka uzungu Nairobi. Nairobi tayari kizungu wanacho. Sasa wewe ni kipi kipi ambao utaleta kwenye meza? What Sabu kizungu nacho tunacho? Mnacho? Kaka kile kizungu umeboronga hapa mimi siwezi sasa. Wacha mambo yako. Hayo maji ni ya bure by the way. Kuna Asante. Ah, jamani mm. maji matamu sana. Ndio askari kidogo eh. Eh, yes. sijui mbona sikuamini wewe ni kama nikitoka hapa nitakuwa kidogo sioni mbele. <laughs> Lakini yeah. that's how I met Lofty now. Mm-hmm. So Lofty encouraged me to do the presenter season 2 mm-hmm. but do it in Swahili. So ulipatana na Lofty Matambo huko Mombasa kwa nyumba ya Amani. Ambaye mm-hmm. Amani ni best friend ya Lofty mm-hmm. na Amani na Michael ni mtu na kakake. Mm-hmm. Michael mimi ndo rafiki yangu sana. Jirani ya ya eh, wote hao wamesomeshwa na mamangu. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kisa mwame somesho na manisha nini? My mom used to be a teacher, so mm. alimsomesha amani, akamsomesha yena, ni watu ambona na watambua. Mm. So mili kwa naenda tuwa kwa salimia. Kufika mm. pale, kumene lofti ya kupale. I, I, there is a story behind that and lofti is going to give you as mm. to why he was in amani's house. Mm. Pia ye ni safari yake ya kuwa mwanhabari. Mm. Alafu tukapatana. Ah, jamani kama, siju kama wanao sikiliza hiki pindi walikuwa wanasikia hiyo sauti. Hawa jamani wameacha kuchimba maji. Kuna watu kwa chini wanachimba maji. <laughs> 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 Kwa hivyo Loft matambo mmetoana mbali kweli eh? Tumetoana mbali, Loft mm. akanipa namba yake mm. na kitu ambacho namshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya Loft mm. ni kwamba kiukweli Loft wakati huo si, hajabadilika upande wangu mm. sijui mm. kwa sababu mimi ni kama dadake we are very close. Ah una uhakika? Loft <laughs> Watu haoni kama ni dadake, <laughs> wewe ni dadake. Hai, mnachokiona shauri yenu. Eh. Sasa Loft alinipa namba yake, nikachukua na, akachukua namba yangu. Haku ni tongoza, mm. ila ni nisaidia. Mm. Ilipofika wakati wangu, mimi nafani safiri nije Nairobi for the presenter. Kumbuka we on holiday at Daystar, mm. so already tushato kashule. Mm. Lakini sasa the presenter season 2 is happening at a time, mm. ambo sisi tupo holiday. Mm. So I had to travel to Nairobi the night before kwenye basi. Lofty, nikam text, nikamwambia nimeanza safari yangu. In fact, I was very sick. Mm. Nikwambia nimeanza safari yangu naenda Nairobi kesho asubuhi ndo niingie ni sasa KTN nifanye mm. uh, mahojiano pale Lofty akanambia nitakusaidia. So the through the entire journey niko kwenye basi Lofty ananitumia script ya Kiswahili mm. ananiambia I voice it back to him. Mm. So nilikuwa nimekaa na mzee fulani pale. Huyo mzee simjui lakini najua mzee aliudhika sana. <laughs> na kama ananikumbuka leo labda atasema inshallah Mwenyezi Mungu msichana kumbe ni mtu wa maana. Mm. Kwa sababu nilikuwa tu asha 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 na mtumia lofti voice note. Mm. Anarudishia lofti ananiambia no, reporter anafaa voice hivi. Ana voice ananiambia now try it and voice it the way nimeku nimekutumia. Mm. Ananitumia tena muktadha ananiambia labda kuna mahali sijui sehemu gani imefanyika nini nini nataka uniandikie script. The Uhu. whole night niko hivi kwenye basi. Kwenye basi mm. na mwandikia script na mrudishia. Script ya mwisho mm. ambayo Loft alinitumia kama mwendo wa saa 8 saa 9 hivi. Alinitumia script ya Fidel Odinga. Mm. Alikuwa amefariki. Mm. Akanambia I want you to think about this script, internalize it na hii script uwe nao mkononi kwa sababu mm. kama kuna habari kubwa imetokea kufikia sasa ni ya Fidel mm. kila la heri Frida all the best tomorrow mm. inshallah tukikutana KTN nitakusalimia mm. kumbe sawa that was the last conversation i had with Lofty mm. nikafika KTN nilifika mwendo wa saa 12 asubuhi kufika Obuya mimi nafikiri mimi ndo wa kwanza nipatana na wakenya wengi wana habari watarajiwa wana habari wachanga wana wani kila mtu ana azma ya kupata nafasi ya kuwa the presenter wengi i think i was number 600 and something 
kumbuka nilifika kwenye lango nikapatana na DJ Croba Anthony Ndiema Uh, alikuwa inaitwa nani Ashtiva Ashtiva something they used to do the show together at Tukuza. Mm. Kroba looked at me and told aka whisperia ndiye makamwambia this one will make it. Won't make it. She will make it. Oh she will make it. Just see the way she's dressed. Nilikuwa mm. mevalia rinda yekundu. Mm. That was my journey. I got at the presenter at KTN at 6. I was interviewed I think at 5 in the evening. The whole time tumepiga foleni nilipoingia kwenye chumba napatana na Eric Latif Ben Kitili those are the faces i can remember who mm. are interviewing me mm. the first assignment they give me wakanambia assume uh, gikomba kumechomeka you are a reporter on location give us a live link mm. i gave I, i gave them the live link mm. kamaliza wakanambia sasa na hii ndo nilikuwa nataka kuisikia sana mm. sasa wewe ni mwanahabari mm. you are a news anchor you are in studio Mm. Tupatie breaking news ha huh? Fidel Odinga I'm about to speak in tongues I remembered the Fidel Odinga script that mm. Lofty gave me mm. Yamani Obuya You memorized me, it I ama... memorized that script Sasa uli uli <laughs> Sitaki kujua kama ilikuwa ni kuinternalize ni kunini mimi nakumbuka tu yale maneno yote ambayo Lofty alikuwa ameandika nikawapatia bunge bunge la intro The way he had written that Ahlan wa sahlan marhaba habari ambazo zimefika hivi sasa katika meza yetu jamani Fidelka nilimwona Ben Kitili na Eric Latif waliangaliana zile za huu mtoto mbona ni kama anaelewa anachokifanya mm. unajua utajua tu mm. before I even finish Latif told me hold up akasema jamani kwani nimechemsha mm. na mimi najua nime nimefanya ninachofaa kukifanya mm. Latif akachukua microphone zile microphone kwa zimetengenezwa eh, zile za kunini eh, ya, ya kumbuka zile akachukua microphone mm. akaniambia Congratulations. You know at that point I didn't know what is the meaning of this microphone. Mm. So apparently this microphone meant shortlist. ni mengia directly yes. to the academy. Mm. I'm not going to be shortlisted ama mm. nini no. This is a direct pass to the academy. So I was just like oh thank you. How I wish I knew what it meant. Ningeruka hata juu katika hiyo meza yao ambayo nilikuwa nimekaa. Kidogo ninge ningewapatia tarab. <laughs> ama kidogo nuoneshe ah my lord is in heaven. So that we don't lose track of it. Unasema yeah. kwamba kama sio hile script ya lofty matambo yes. na yeye kusaidia kwamba yes. basi you make sure kwamba hiyo script una internalize mm. na kwamba you are free with that story mm. you understand the nitty gritties of what is going on mm. huenda labda hungeingia kwenye ile academy Kapsa, give na credit u... give credit to credit is due lofty na uwezekano ni kwamba hungekuwa pale ambapo upo kwa sasa Kapsa, mm. lofty alimsaidia mm. mwenyezi Mungu alimtumia kunisaidia mm. yeah. Ah, ah, I see. I see. So when did you meet Lofty Matambo next? Ama ulimpigia simu bwana nimepewa ki microphone hapa. Mm. And and afikiri nilikutana na Lofty wakati ule kama sijakosea uh, lakini najua yeye kidogo atakumbuka vizuri. Mm. Lakini nafikiri nilikutana naye tukazungumza and of course now we Obuya sijakumalizia. Unajua kumbuka nimepatiwa microphone ya kuingia straight to the academy. Academy. Nikitoka nje napatana na George Maringa. Uh-huh. Mwan habari huyu mwenye sasa yupo ndani ya TV47. Pale Daily Report. Yule sasa hakupenya. Mm. Lakini mm. nilipatana na George Maringa. Mm. Maringa ndo aliniambia kwamba the meaning of this microphone. Ah. Oh. Akanambia Frida you've made it straight to the academy. I'm like what? Okay. So Una I think, nje. Eh, nika celebrate kidogo. Ah uh, ilikuwa ni siku ya Jumamosi. Mimi nikarudi Daystar kwa hostel. Nilikuwa nakaa nje ya shule. Mm. So mimi nikarudi kwenye hostel yangu, kwenda kujipumzisha kidogo. Jioni nishapigia simu wazazi wote ambao walikuwa wanatarajia wananiombea. Kawaambia jamani Mungu ni nani? Mm. Ah, Mungu ni nani? <laughs> Nimepata microphone straight to the academy. Jioni napata ujumbe mm. kwenye simu. Mm. Sema kwamba kesho lazima urudi KTN. Mm. For another interview. Nauliza ya nini? Napiga mm. simu nikaambiwa judges wali overpick The academy mm. only needed 20 people. people uh... Judges picked I think 22. Mm. So si si vyema waseme mm. hawa wili watoe wa mwisho. So itabidi mwanze tena upya mlicho kifanya jana. Mm. Obuya. Kumaanisha sasa uwezi ringa. Mm. lazima tena upige zile simu useme maskini jamani eh, eh. msisherekee sana eh. kwa sababu mtindo ule ule wa jana ndo nitapitia mm. hii leo yale maombi ya juzi yale maombi ya juzi so i didn't i didn't even have clothes mm. uh, official 
So some days then I'm valiana ni official. Mm. So that that the Sunday now in the morning karaoke and I silly. Mm-hmm. I went to Isili, I picked a green dress and a white jacket. The determination. Eh. Uh-huh. Mm. Nikarudi sasa KTN. Mm. That was around 2. Mm. My next interview ilikuwa inafanyika usiku kitu kama saa 2 saa 3. Mm. Hapo sasa tuko mimi, Abula, Michelle Ngele. Sasa wale ambao tulikuwa tumechaguliwa lakini kuna wengine wengi mm. au oh, I can't remember the rest of the guys. Mm. Zaina Bismao alikuwa sasa ni kirende kimoja. Mm-hmm. Hapo sasa ndo unasikia butterflies kwa tumbo kwa sababu you don't know Jamal Gaddafi Jamal. the entertainment guy uh, na Jamal alituudhi ali sana kwa sababu wakati ilipofika wakati wa Jamal kuingia ndani sasa uh, kufanywa interview kumbuka uh, sasa judges ni wote kina Edith Kimani Alex Chamwada Ben Kitili Eric Latif wote sasa uh, Jamal akatoka akatwambia ah tukamuuliza mbona umekaa sana kule ndani uh, Ah, mimi wamenipenda. Uh, wamenipenda kwa sababu sasa nipige tena. Hey, sasa jamaa. <laughs> Jamal. Hey, Jamal Mungu akusamehe. Yeah. <laughs> Tuko hapo sisi tunababaika. Jamal anasema wamenipenda, mimi wamenipenda. Ah, so ni you are tena. Mm. Ah, mimi ndio Jamal Gaddafi. <laughs> Alafu mwingine iweingia. I think ni Abula. Yeah. Mtu tama lizi dakika moja. Stop go. Yeah. Alafu ndio fikiria jamani jamani lakini jamani aliambua aseme tena uh. so tukafanya mm. uh, usiku wa manane tulikesha KTN mm. ndio baadaye tukaitwa sisi wote na they were they took the microphones mm. sasa waka wanasoma jina alafu unapatiwa microphone yako i was number 4 to be mentioned mm. Eric Latif akasema mtoto wa kipwani sijui msichana wanajua ni mkamba by the way uh, sasa wewe mbona unamwaga mtamu labda nataka kuwa gavana kilifi county haimaanishi kwamba huwezi <laughs> do they know mimi i come do they know Kenya. i do they know i come from kilifi county mimi ni mkenya mm. niliposikia <laughs> niliposikia wakisema kwamba ni freedom mwaka i was happy mm-hmm. they took my microphone mm-hmm. nikaangalia ile juhudi yote ambayo nilikuwa nimeweka mm. remember i was very sick i was diarrhea seriously <laughs> <laughs> and then nimesafiri usiku Mm. Sijalala love tena nisaidia nimekesha the whole Saturday mm. Sunday I was given the microphone and yeah the journey began in the mm. presenter mm. season 2 reality mm. show which was something else and they should have brought something like that again and again and again I was the only lady speaking Swahili wow kati yes ilikuwa tu ni mimi na Abula ambao tunazungumza Kiswahili na Jamal kidogo lakini Jamal was more on the entertainment, entertainment side pale. Mm-hmm. nice afi kafikia mwisho basi kile kipindi kilikuwa kinakuja pale jioni jioni mm. kisha wakashinda Michelle Ngele mm-hmm. na Jamal and I'll tell you why I didn't win mm-hmm. panic mm. S- uh, we were among the finalists pamoja na Zaina Bisma in mm. fact mimi na Zaina tulitolewa the same day mm. and nothing was so sad unajua mkitolewa kwenye runinga inakuja kama majina zenu alafu yako ina una, uso wako unakuwa una, unafanya unakuwa mweusi Yaani <laughs> kina kina Mick Jagger amefanya graphics pale. <laughs> graphics. Na huo wakati huku unajua labda ni kina Mick. <laughs> eh, hata siko najua ni nani. Naona tu mimi mwenyewe ndio huyo haya. Zi, nimekuwa mweusi. Sasa tulitolewa mimi na Zaina, but I tell you why I didn't win the presenter because um Mwenyezi Mungu okay, kila mtu ako na nuru yake. Mm-hmm. And that was a season for Michelle and Jamal. Mm-hmm. And in every competition lazima kuwe na mshindi na mshindwa. Mm-hmm. Lakini mimi nilikuwa najua asilimia mia moja kwamba nitashinda. Mm-hmm. Kabisa. Kwa sababu cha kwanza mimi ndio mtoto wa kike ambaye anazungumza Kiswahili. Mm-hmm. Na shabikia Kiswahili. I'm very confident. Mm-hmm. Najua ati yangu kinirusha kwa entertainment nitakupo, kinirusha kwa news nitakupa. Lakini kilicho nifanya ni shindwe ni kuogopa panic. Mm-hmm. The last day when now Zaina Bendai were eliminated from the academy. Mm. Niliweko kwenye interview na the likes of Joa Gale, mm. Jeff Koinange, uh, Catherine Mwangi. Hao ndo walikuwa sasa our judges. Mm. And I remember at that particular point Obuya nili sijui panic ilitoka wapi lakini ungeniuliza naitwa nani mm. singekumbuka jina langu. Panic and fear is very bad. I went through it anxiety is bad i don't know where it came from lakini ha, and it was the last phase cause 
I remember niliambiwa nitaje one of the ministers in the country. One of them is my uncle. I I could not remember his name. <laughs> Waziri. Hata na, nakumbuka ni kama niliamua nitaje governor wa Nairobi. Sikuwa nakumbuka jina lake. That's how bad it was. But now this is the funny thing. When Catherine no Eric Latif was very lenient to me and Latif said, "Okay Frida, then give us an entertainment show." I gave them a very powerful gospel show. But then they asked me, "What do you want?" Like ningesema nataka entertainment, probably I would have taken the entertainment uh, side. Mimi nikasema no. I still want to do news. Hmm. News is where my heart is. Editorial. Basi tuambie gavana Nairobi nani? Ama waziri mmoja. Ama waziri mmoja. Eh. Ambe mmoja tayari. Ama tuambie rais wa Kenya. <laughs> ah, mimi hata. <laughs> oh, that is the worst feeling. That is the worst space I've ever been in my life as Frida. Panic. Wakajiuliza huyu hata alifika fikaje hapa? I could see how Latif was disappointed because Latif I could tell Latif liked me in that academy. I think aliona kwamba huyu mtoto tumeona jinsi alivyokuja hapa, determination alionayo. Frida is big. This girl can be the next big thing. Yaani ushona ni kama mtu anasikia kuja kutingiza kidogo. Latif angekuwa na fursa, angechukua ubongo wangu kidogo utingize hivi ama nipige pige makofi ni toke from panic. Mm. So I co- that's how I couldn't make it and they were like yeah, sorry you can't make it. Mm. Tukakutana na Zainab Chooni tukalia sote kila mtu akienda zake nyumbani. So I don't know I don't even know why Zainab failed. Maybe atakueleza. Mm. And at that point um Sam Shelley reached out akaniambia Frida he was the CEO. Yeah. He was like Frida you you're very promising and I feel like we can give you a job at KTN to be a news reporter and they said no. I don't. And this is because I was young. Nimeonekana kwenye runinga sijui governor. Nimeonekana kwenye runinga I don't know any minister. Yet one of them is my relative and Frida I could not I could not come into terms vile nimejaidisha mbele ya umma. Daysta is a university known to be the best in communication. Everyone in Daysta kina Brian na Sally wa mapioneers. Yaani au watu walikuwa wamesema wanakuja na basi la Daysta mpaka KTN kunishabikia. Everyone was happy for Frida. My parents, so for me I felt I have failed everyone and I failed myself and I've, I've ashamed my society want anything to do with news. Nikakataa kazi. 2016 nikaitwa Ibru TV. They wanted me to do news. I refused. I said let's try entertainment. I feel like news is not my thing anymore. So I tried entertainment. They gave me an entertainment show. Kanambia zindua show yako, nikatoa show pale ilikuwa inaitwa Halua Maua. It's a lifestyle show. I gave it a 100. Kidogo kidogo Ebro kanaongezea a gospel show Vuka 360. I did it. But every time I was in the newsroom, ningemwona Victor Wetende. Sai he's the communication director thinking Bungoma au Kakamega. Ningemwona Victor Wetende, naenda nachukua scripts zake, najificha kwenye booth. I voice out my script. Mm-hmm. Na muona Nuru Abdulaziz alipokuwa Ibru akishamaliza tu script zake za Kiswahili, nachukua script zangu naenda najificha pale. Zain uh, tulikuwa na Zain, ah Zain alitunga baadaye. So for me bado ari yangu ya kuwa mwanahabari mm. wa kusoma habari ilikuwa katika moyo wangu. Ni ile tu nilijihisi kana kwamba sister Hili, which is a very bad thing in life to just look down upon yourself. It's very bad. Going back do you think yeah. you failed those people by not knowing uyo minister mmoja ama gavana Um I think everything works out for the good because ukiona safari yangu jinsi hata Mungu alivyo nitambulisha kwa dunia sasa kama mwanahabari it's a way I never imagined mm. Sikuwaijua ipo siku Frida mwaka mashirima kapombe wanahabari ninaye muheshimu ata toka sasa ni mimi kujaza kiatu chake i didn't i never saw that coming mm. so in in life obuya imenifunza kwamba sometimes we blame ourselves and we too hard on ourselves mm. which is not fair it is okay to be wrong mm. it's unfortunate that i nilipanic mm. fear was all over me mm. but it is okay to make mistakes 
because these mistakes the mistakes you make in life will make you a better person right now frida i'm not where i used to be right now i am a senior news anchor in kenya kuna maswali kama ya gavana naweza imba magavana karibu wote kwa hivyo lakini wakati ule si kwa na uzoefu kwa hivyo it is okay to make mistakes nobody is perfect of course ina aibu lakini aibu inaleta furaha baadaye Mm. Wote ambao walinicheka wako mm. wapi? Owen, Owen Gavana wa Isolo na. Ah, achana na mimi. <laughs> Owen, Owen Gavana wa Isolo na. <laughs> achana na Owen Gavana. <laughs> Hauko peke yako. <laughs> <laughs> so Frida, yes. Now moving on, moving on kwamba sasa pale umerudi u, unaingiaje sasa KTN? Naona pale una replace uh, unachukua nafasi ya Mashirima Kapombe. Mm-hmm. And let me think, tell you, I will forever appreciate mashirima because kama si mashirima kuacha kazi KTN mm. singeipata ile nafasi and that is why i keep telling people you have your space sio kwa nini wazazi wananyima watoto kufanya kazi ya wanahabari kila mtu ana nafasi yake mimi nakumbuka kidogo tu nitarudi katika swali lako kuna watu ambao walikuwa nakutana nao naambia kwamba nataka kuwa mwanahabari wananiuliza wewe hivi toko uzaliwa umeona Lilian Muli kwenye runinga eh mpaka mm. sahi Lilian Muli yuko kwenye runinga eh mambo botela bado unamsikia eh sasa wewe nafasi yako utaipata lini? Man Mashirima left and I joined. Mm. Freedom Walk is gonna leave. I'm not going to be on NTV forever. Mm. I will leave and another Freedom will come in. So watu wache kuwa na uoga. Watu oh, alafu pia wengine msikae sana katika hizi nafasi. Mm. Ah. Ah Mashirima asante sana mama. Yeye yeah, asante. Asante ulitoka KTN. Yeah. Kwa sababu Mashirima tusema ingekuwa KTN, labda singewa ingia pale. Kwa hivyo katika swali lako, Ibru TV nikamaliza Ibru 2017 2017 I was poached at uh, Kubamba Radio. I met Kambua. I was doing an interview for Kambua for my show ya Ebru. Kambua looked at me. I remember it was in a salon. Mm. Kambua na Oshanuele namfanyia interview and uh, she looked at me and she told me you are the next Kanzedena. Mm. And I told her I have always looked up to Kanzedena kama kuna mwanamke ambaye siku zote akisoma habari na mtazama ni kanze dena and kambua told me you're the next so the next thing akafanya mambo yake i was poached at kubamba radio kubamba radio nikapiga tu miezi kadhaa but my boss called me anaitwa moz akaniambia frida i don't think your heart is here mm. your heart is on tv mm. because even what i was doing on radio i'll make sure my phone is on i'm live on facebook mimi nataka kuonekana sitaki kusikika peke yake mm. and moz moz in fact alizindua kipindi cha redio ambacho kinaitwa zindua msanii mm. in a tv format just because of me and he commissioned me to be the host and told me i am commissioning you to be the host of this show because frida your nyota yako iko kwenye runinga mm. si hapa this is just a starting point so all this while obuya i'm knocking doors at ktn kule ambako ulikuwa umekata kazi mwanzo kule eh sasa siko KTN news mimi na knock doors KTN home mm. i hosted tukuza mm. ile akina ndia mwa yes i wanted to be the tukuza host show ikaenda vizuri kila mtu anakusifia lakini you're not making it una unaambiwa tu we are sorry mm. but everything went well kuna kipindi kilikuwa kije KTN cha pesa kama loto hivi betting. Mm. Na tukachaguliwa mimi na Mwashumbe. Mm. Hii sija, sijawahi mwambia mtu hii story. Sijai mm. sema openly. Mm. Tulichaguliwa mimi na Mwashumbe wa radio wa, sasa iko Radio 47. Mm. Alikuwa maisha huko. Alikuwa maisha. Mm. Tukaambiwa eh, give us your quotation. Mwashumbe kwa sababu alikuwa jina kubwa akatoa quotation nzito sana. Mm-hmm. Ni hela ambayo ulikuwa nalipwa kila siku. Mm-hmm. Kuonekana hewani dakika saba, tunapiga that betting thing, alafu twende zetu nyumbani. Frida mm-hmm. mimi ni kama nilisema nilipwe 1040 mm-hmm. per day. Kitu kitu tu. Kitu kitu tu. Mm-hmm. 1040 per day. So in a week that's good money. Mm-hmm. And those people did not bargain. Wakasema oh this is your quotation. Sawa. Obuya siku lala. Nilikuwa nalala hivi na Jona niko Dubai breakfast in dubai 40k a day na kumbuka ni ngapi every day siku saba siku saba yeah you do the show for seven days mm. so every day you paid 40k nilikuwa na lala hivi nakumbuka kuna wakati nilimpiga mamangu simu nikaomba mam you will be eating breakfast in dubai 
mm. lunch in South Africa, <laughs> dinner in Kenya, because it mm. is possible. Mm. Set up, ikafanywa. Norea Okanga, alikuwa nito Okanga, she was supposed to be our producer. producer yeah. Everything was ready, mm. but the show never started. Obuya, such things made me question God. Kwa namuliza mungu, why ni? Audition zote naenda KTN, namdua Frida, you did the best. Shows are not starting. Show kama hii ya hela, ambo mimi nishafika Dubai, mm. all of a sudden hayanzi. Hayanzi. Set up kila kitu ishafanya, show hayanzi. Haifanyiki. And I cried. And that time in Kubamba, we are struggling. Kubamba is also now struggling financially. Mm. So kuna miezi ambao pia Kubamba likuwa hatulipwe. Mm. So there are moments I would just go into my house and cry and tell God why. And uh, 2017, Ikenda Kuisha, mm. I remember I told my co-host on radio, alikuwa naitwa St. P. Mm. Anaitwa St. P. Bado. Nikamwambia mm. St. P, I feel the Lord is going to transition me. I don't know in what, but I don't think I'm here to stay. And St. P was like, okay, wow, that's a good thing. Let's pray about it. So we just started praying for Frida's transition. And uh, radio ya kwanza kuniita ilikuwa milele. Nikaitwa milele na titi na ngwala. Nikaenda pale nikafanya nini, nito nini hizi, si screen test. What do we do on radio? Mm-hmm. But here sauti yangu, it didn't go through. I know why, but it's okay. It didn't go through, mm. uh, which is fine. Was it about how you performed? No. But it's fine. Like kulikuwa na mwingine alikuwa ashakuja na akafanya vizuri. Mm. Na alikuwa chini ya mtu mwingine. Kwa hivyo mm. already there was a performer. Yaani alikuwa na Godfather. Ah, uh, sijui kama ni Godfather. Msiogope ya mambo. Sijui. Mnapokuja kwenye show mambo. Siezi ogopa kwa sababu siezi sema plan. kitu ambacho sijui. Mm. Lakini najua kwamba kuna mmoja alikuwa ashanitangulia na alifanya vizuri. Mm. So why should we pick freedom mwaka when already we have someone else? Okay. So it didn't happen. Then uh, 2018, very early 2018, all media houses called me at the same time. Siku moja ni mekachini na pigua simu na ambiwa you have an audition to do at NTV. Mm. I never thought I would ever work at NTV. In fact, when they called me, I was like, me, NTV. Me, me, NTV. Kwanza nani NTV, mimi ananijua ata mepeleka jina langu kuko. Mm. Ni ito audition. So I went. And when I got to NTV, I met one of the TV anchors who is no longer an anchor now. Mm. She was also coming for an audition, and these were her words. What is a young girl from radio doing here? Nikaombe nukudi auditions at TV. Aksama, some of us already have this job. Nini mekudi hapa, it's just a formality. Aksama, sawa. Kaenda, kapigia. Those are exact words. Yes. Kapigia kazi yangu, kamaliza, nikarudi zangu nyumbani. The same week, Ibru TV calls me again to go and try news. So I go. I do the interview, they like it, we discuss salary, and I'm like, I can't take that salary, it's too kidogo. Siweza neni nikuwa na kiburi, lakini si kiburi kibaya, I knew what I wanted. Mm-hmm. And then Radio Citizen called me. Mm-hmm. Nikaenda Radio Citizen, nikafanya audition yangu, nikamaliza, and Radio Citizen called me again. Mm-hmm. Now to come and meet the bosses, who was now my current boss, Maloy, mm-hmm. um, and HR, so that we could discuss our salary. That tells you. Walipendezwa. Mm. But when I got there, katika ile room nilikuwa, kulikuwa na Jerida and I, she's a boss at Radio Citizen. Mm. I remember I told them this is not where my heart is. And Jerida gave me her blessings and told me, Frida, I wish you all the best as you go on TV. This has never been seen. Tunapatia mtu kazi. Na unasema kwamba this is not where your heart is. Wewe mbona na mbona basi mwanzo ulikuwa umeenda wewe nao? Mimi nilikuwa tunaenda ile tu lakini mimi roho yangu ilikuwa mahali pamoja tu. I just mm. wanted a job at KTN. Mm. Na ilifika wakati ambapo kidogo kidogo tu vile mke wa Job Ayubu alimwambia wewe kwani ni mpumbavu katika Biblia. Mm. I kind of felt my mom is about to ask me are you stupid are you mad? God is giving you other opportunities mm. but your eyes is on KTN that mm. there's no opportunity opening up. Mm. So when I refused, when, when I didn't get that job at Citizen and I went home, mm. Obuya, I cried. And this is where my journey for KTN News starts. Obuya ni lilia. Sijuka mwosha ilia mbaka mishipi katoka huku, mbaku kalala. Mina liambona mimi. Mm. Mimi ni lilia. Ni lilia Obuya. And I told God, am I stupid? Nani ya menifumba macho jamani? Radio Citizen was willing. 
Mm. Nani amenifumba macho? So mimi nililala, nililia na nikalala. Simu iliyoniamsha ilikuwa simu ya KTN News. Mm. Niko T. Niko T called me. Head of production. Yes, I didn't know him. Shikilia hapo. Haya maji nimekuambia ni abure. You watching inside the news from remember this program is brought, brought to you courtesy of Bet Kumi and you can always go there and ensure that you are multiplying your winnings or rather about 3000 times your stake to see where that takes you whether you are in Kenya you are in Uganda you are in Zambia this is uh, the best platform for your uh, casino experience Frida mm. Niko T calls you in the morning Niko T calls no in the evening Davine, ulisema simu mbili kwa msha. Kwa nini lala asubuhi? Si nimelala, nimelia, nikapata usingizi mimi nikalala kwenye kitanda cha. Wewe nimelia, nimelia, nikalia mpaka nikapata usingizi. Kalala. Nikoti calls me. Tells me, "Hi, am I speaking to Freedom Walker?" I say, "Yes." Can you be can you avail yourself tomorrow? I'm like, "Where?" KTN News. Okay. Yes. Mm. Uh, are you sure? Kaambia, "Yes." Nikamwambia, "Nakuja kwa nini?" Akanambia, "You're coming for an interview." Uh, now this is where I answer what you had asked me about the presenter. Mm. When they were looking for Masherima's replacement, they mm. also remembered some of the contestants who were there during the presenter. Mm. So we were among those people who are being interviewed now the following day ambao alikuwa ananipigia simu. Nikamwambia, "Yes, I'm available." Niko tia kanambe sawa. Then Frida availed herself. I called my boss, DJ Moz. I told him and Moz was like Frida you have my blessings go ahead to the interview. Nilipofika kwenye interview. Hey. Mm. Unapatana na the who is who in this industry. Mm. Kila mtu amekuja auditions. Mm. Ikanikumbusha ile audition ya NTV. Ambao nilipatana na wanahabari karibu wote. Sasa hapo ndo unaanza kujiuliza jamani mimi mtoto wa kike sijawahi kuwa mwanahabari. Mm. What am I doing in this interview? But something inside me told me Frida do it. Sasa hakuna time ya, ku, ya, ya huruma. Mm. There's no one to say weye, weshe, weshe. You've cried for four years. Mm. You've been knocking on this door for four years. I waited unto the Lord for KTN. Four years. Now it's your time to show them what your mama gave you. That's what they say. Eh, okay. Nkakutana na Abula, uh, nkakutana na Ahmed Bahaj. Mm. Yuko bibi sema ulitoka. Sasa Bahaj ni mtu tu ambaye alikuwa anapiga taarifa za sport think we China radio mm. tukapatana naye kwenye auditions nasema saa hizi sasa yuko BBC, BBC yeah. yes mm. kapatana na Bahaj tukapiga sasa auditions kulikuwa na ujamaa ambao alikuwa na role auto kiwa anaitwa Kefa 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 baada auditions za Nemo. these were his words mm. Kefa alikuja tuambie akatuambia Usipopigiwa simu by Wednesday wewe enda tu uko joe alafu uendelee na maisha yako. Huwa <laughs> <laughs> napenda utani sana wewe Ha! Mm. Bahaja kumwambia hivi kaka umesema Jumatano ikifika kama tutapigwa simu tuko joe tu akamwambia mm. itabidi mko joe alafu msonge mm. na maisha yenu. Mm. So Wednesday ilikuwa karibu lakini ilikuwa mbali. Mm. Mimi nikapigiwa simu Tuesday. Mm. Kambo Frida you need to come for another interview. In short we, we did like four interviews for us to so kila wakati naenda kwenye interview idadi ya watu imepungua inapungua na jangali hivi nasema ala hata mwanahabari fulani nilimwona mwanahabari fulani nilimwona kumbe mimi naweza kuwa mkali kidogo mm-hmm. tukienda tena idadi imepungua narudi tena kwa magoti obu ya magoti yangu ni meusi kwa sababu ya maombi wasikusikie ukisema magoti yako ni meusi <laughs> mimi nasema hawa nawajua sifichi loloti hawa nawajua na ila si mikorogo situmi mikorogo jamani mtu hawa nawajua <laughs> Na mimi sikuweza kuhusu mambo ya mikorogo. This conversation hey. has nothing to do na mikorogo. Wewe unaweza sema nini mchawi? Ah ah. Frida waachia hapo. Nimepiga magoti, yes. nimeomba. Mm. So finally I was told uh, the last interview you now need to come and meet HR. Mm. So the HR I met was Mr. Siwatom. Siwatom Nicholas. Nicholas. Mm. And that was the best meeting ever mm. ever since I was employed. Mm. Cuz Siwa Tom was not there to interview me. He mm. did. He did interview me indirectly, but we're just catching up. Nataka mm. and nisoma and it was nice. It was a very good interview, good catch up. I think mm. nilika kwa office Siwa Tom like for 2 hours. Yeah. We discussed kila kitu and uh, Siwa Tom told me I wish you all the best. Mm. And that is the day I met Jesse Rogers. Mm. We signed our contract at the same time. Once I was just done signing my contract, I received a call from NTV mm. and NTV is like, we are considering you, Frida. You did a very good job in the other audition. I was like, I'm sorry. I've just signed my contract at KTN. Mm. 
na pale sasa umeanza tayari sasa kazi pale KT News. Actually NTV wali nipigie usiku kwa maana kwanza maliza kutia sign. Ndio uanze sasa KT. Ndio nianze KT yani. Na pale sasa mnapatana tena pale na kijana Loft Matambo. Tena. Lakini sasa tu just as a colleague. Yeah. Loft now we were friends. Nilikuwa tunaanza kubidi ule rafiki lakini we were not as tight as mm. we are now. Mm. So tukapatana na Loft, tukapiga kazi. It was not easy. My first time on air was the hardest because uh, number one, promo bonge bonge la promo nasema hapo tumewasili oh mtoto wa kike you know obuya you've been in this space and you're still in this space media is like politics not everybody you laugh with is happy for you wewe mwenyewe unakaa tu na mchawi hapo next to you yani watu hawapendani it's like it's a very it's a very harsh place to be in mm-hmm. and i could hear so many voices why frida huyu ni nani huyu ametoka kwenye redio Mbona huyu mtoto mdogo hivi akuje kumreplace Mashirima Kapombe? We have so many people here who can do what Mashirima used to do. Why her? Amelala na nani? That is always the conversation in the newsroom. Who is her godfather? Is she dating the CEO? Is she dating Sayo hata sijui CEO ni nani? Head of sijui what sijui ni nani? Mimi aliyenipeleka KTN ni Mungu. And so for me I could hear all those words. So the first day I'm going on air, I said my own things. Tumangu nilikuwa fanya nilikuwa naona ni kama hiyo sauti itasikika kwenye microphone. Nakumbuka vizuri sana Rice William Ruto wakati huo hakuwa rais lakini William Ruto nilimuita Wilson Ruto. Sosion na muita William Sosion. Nilikuwa nachanganya maneno. Kila nimesoma habari kunradhi mtazamaji. M mm, kunradhi. Mpaka nakumbuka mamangu akiniita hashtag kunradhi. Kunradhi kunradhi. Nilimaliza bulletin nikashindwa kutoka. Franco Tieno alinikujia. Mwalimu. Atrium. Mwalimu Frank. Sema ho ho ho. Ni <laughs> jimambo tu. Ni jimambo tu. Ni jimambo tu. But there is one person if I don't give credit to this person basi nitakuwa mimi ni mwizi wa fadhila. Mm. Nitakuwa ni mtovu wa nidhamu. Mkuu wa kitengo bwana Paul Nabiswa. Mhm. Alinipigia simu. Hiyo wiki tu ambayo mimi ndo mgeni nshenda hewani. Nilikuwa nyumbani. Mm. It was a two hour phone conversation. Mm. And that is how Mku called me his last born because I was the youngest. So Mku akaniita last born. Mku aliniambia last born wangu. Nataka unisikize na unisikize vizuri kama babako ama ukipenda pia babu yako. You have started better than most of us. And Mku took me through a journey of every Swahili speaking news anchor in Kenya vile walianza kuna wale walikojoa kuna wale waliongea mambo yao akaniambia Frida umeanza vyema kuliko wengi wetu na nataka ikuingie katika akili yako kwamba Mashirima Kapombe si mwanahabari mdogo kwa hivyo nafasi uloijaza wewe ya Mashirima I want you to come out as Frida Mwaka umenisikia mama wewe unasema hivyo nikwambie mama umenisikia nikwambie akaniambia nataka ujasiri sitaki uje hapo uanze kujionea huruma but you've started better than most of us that phone call is what has made freedom mwaka to me today because everything about freedom changed i never thought i'd work at ntv never baka nakumbuka one month ndio ntv wanipigie simu nilikuwa na timothy otieno na this guy wa business anaitwa nani noah keep kembo we were just walking in town usimuite keep kembo eh no no keep keep kembo tulikuwa tunatembea tu from indem We saw the Twin Tower building mm. and personally na mdomo wangu nikasema mimi I can never work here. Oh. I've never pictured myself working at NTV. I was like why? Why am I working in town? Mm. I never pictured myself working at NTV. One month down the line NTV calls. And when NTV made a call, I knew that call would come to me. Si kiburi, sitaki wa Kenya waseme ni kiburi, si kiburi. It's when you know what you bring on the table. Obu are right now we are talking about the best investigative journalists in Kenya. Ni nani kama si wewe? Niambie. Who? And you know it is not like you don't know. So for me at that point I even told my mom. Nilipona Jen Goiri ametoka KNTV. Nilienda bedroom nikajifungia. I smiled to myself and I knew that phone call will come to Frida because mm. nilikuwa ni shaji package for that i don't know ilikuwa msimu wangu obuya when it is your season you will know i looked across all media houses and i was like if it's not frida 
I don't know who else mm. at that particular point. Mm. And this is because of the hard work I had put on TV. And yeah, one day, two days down the line, the phone call came. And that's how I joined NTV. But at that time you joined together with Lofty. No. There's a whole story, by the way, but this one we will not say it now. Tutakuja kuambia, kulikuwa na mvutano kidogo. Lakini, by the time I was joining NTV, Lofty and I had tried doing a screen test together at KTN. And our boss then said, mimi ni mrefu kuliko Lofty, kwa hivyo haita wezekana. And in life you will meet such disappointments. Where someone can just tell you, you're taller, you're shorter, mm. you cannot do it. Mm. Oh, hauna wewe sauti. sauti yako, wewe. Mm. Hauna sauti. So as we come closer to the end of this interview, mm. that like I said is brought to you by Bet Kumi and you can always uh, multiply your stats by mm -hmm. up to 3,000 on betkumi.com, it will be important for people to understand the other side of you. Mm -hmm. Unajua kuna ile sehemu moja ambayo ulikuwa umetaja mkiniona huko downtown mm. sijui nachukua chukua materials ni nini is mm. what have you mm. umesema kwamba wewe na loft watambo mmeanza safari fulani ni nini mm. and i wanted to understand much more in terms of uh, kwamba wewe unasema unashona nguo ama mm. una watu wanashona nguo mimi ni fondi mwenyewe nashona nakalia cherehani nashona lakini sina uzoefu mzuri sana wa kushona nguo lakini when mm. it comes to uh the brain you know behind the creative designs you get to see naweza sema ni akili yangu kwa sababu nachora nachora mishono natengeneza pia kidogo na vijikaratasi lakini i have a shop house of kichuna uh hapa mjini kenya house building niko na duka pale nashona nguo zangu mnachokiona nachokivaa hewani nashukuru mwenyezi Mungu ni ubongo wangu na pia nimeajiri watu Mm. Nilivoajiriwa hata mimi pia niko na watu wananitegemea kupata unga. Mm. Nimeajiri mafundi wangu pale wanashona. Wao wanakataa kabisa siku zote kiwaita fundi hata hata itikia. Anasema niite designer. Designer. Mm. Kwa hivyo niko na ma designers wangu. Um, I have a manager as well mm. who manages my brand mm. and also who manages our brand as the duo. Mm. Because wananchi wenyewe wametupenda mimi na Lofty, mm. wamekubali kazi yetu na wakasema jamani hawa tunawaita the duo. Mm. So the duo is just not Lofty Matambo and I. Mm. So we have an entire team. Mm. You know we have our PA, we have our digital guys, we have mkiona vitu mitandaoni uh, mara nyingi si 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 kuna mm. kikosi mm. ambacho kinafanya hayo yote mm. so mimi ni fundi i run my brand as frida and also the duo as a brand mm. mimi ni mfawidhi i'm an mc i mm. mc events you've seen i think and one thing i can say thank you so much to ntv ntv have given me ntv has given me a platform to be me Mm. So most of the events at NTV ni me MC. Mm. You know, um I've also do I also do MCing events even outside Kenya. That's mm. why you'd see me in Ghana, you'd see me in Uganda, you'd see me in Rwanda mm. doing all these interviews. Mm. I mean and MCing jobs in South Africa. Mm. So what else? I'm also into film. Mm. Yeah, mm. so mm. very soon expect uh, movies. Mm. Kuna zile tayari tumefanya lakini chini ya maji. Ah. Lakini very soon uh, I think also it's a space that you will see more of Frida. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cuz I write I write I write plays, I write um, movies, mm -hmm. I write series. So niko kwenye hiyo safari. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. So he do a thing ni kitu ambacho mnaanzisha rasmi ama mm -hmm. what is this? The duo tumekuepo. Mm -hmm. Of course mnatuona Frida mwaka na Lofty lakini sasa tunataka kujitosa rasmi mm -hmm. katika macho ya watu kwamba mlituita tukaitikia mm -hmm. na mkasema kwamba Frida na Lofty mnapendezana mm -hmm. kwa hivyo we are here now as the duo let's do this together because you know one thing that I do with Lofty is mentorship like I said. Mm -hmm. Lofty and I have been going to different counties mentoring young people who want to venture into journalism. Mm -hmm. Our target audience sana sana imekuwa in the slums. Mm. Sisi tumekuwa tukitembea kule. Now we are mostly in Islands. Mm. Tuna tuko huko mitaani, tunafanya trainings. But there's a lot that the duo can do. Mm. Na watu wanatupenda sana. Kuna maisha nje ya newsroom. Mm. So we want to show people 
huu wewe unasema inside the newsroom mm. sasa sisi tupo outside the newsroom mm. who is Frida who is Lofty mm. so on the 10th of November mm. 2024 mm. inshallah mm. the duo will be having a very big announcement mm. maswali ni mengi are we walking down the aisle are we I was avoiding that question <laughs> watu wanauliza maswali mengi sana so mm. sitajibu kwa sababu mm. tarehe kumi mwezi Novemba mwaka 2024 mm. karibu in hotel at Waiyaki way that's where we'll have our event mm. we have a very big announcement for Kenyans mm. so karibu ni sana posters zitaanza kutembea social media itaanza tutaanza kuzungumzia very mm. soon mm. um tutaona posters kelele tu katika mitandao but if there's a day mm. you cannot afford to miss is mm. that day mm. sana sana kama wewe ni shabiki na kama umetembea na sisi katika safari yetu ya habari Mm, yes. Mm. Another two of you, you've mentioned it. So unasema kwamba you want to answer whether the two of you are walking down the aisle. Maswali ni mengi kwa mm. sababu uh, inasikitisha kwamba mm. mimi nikiwa katika vacation yangu Mombasa, Loft akiwa kwenye vacation, sana sana Loft mm. akienda vacation Mombasa, tuseme mpeleka tu mdada fulani ata labda they're just having coffee. Hata labda ndo wamekaa tu, maskini natumiwa picha. Mm. Watu wanaambia, "Eh, hey, your husband is cheating on you." Mm. You know, um, when I was in Ghana, there's a time I was in Ghana last year. Kenyans even started doing a, a rally on social media. Frida, come back home to your husband. Mm. Your husband misses you. Your husband is crying. Mm. Your husband is lofty. Eh, hey, your man. But so what we 10th of November. Wanauliza. Mm. Wanauliza. Mm. Wana 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 kwa kuwa mtu na mme wake. Wanaweza kwa sababu nafikiri walikuwa wameshuhudia wakati fulani wakifanya harusi fulani. Nani? Mimi ama Loft? Wewe na Loft pia nafikiri. Uh-huh. Na sasa kama nilifanya harusi waliona bwana harusi ni Loft kweli. No, wanauliza kwa sababu kwa muda labda unajua pia haya maswali ni magumu na nilikwambia mimi wasipendi kuuliza ya maswali uh-huh. kwa sababu ni kama unjua ndoa zilikataa watu wa, wa news. Nani alisema? Watu wa newsroom ni kama ndoa zilifanya nini? Nani alisema? Mm, kwa sababu kuna mmoja alikuwa ananiambia oh kuna wakati Frida alikuwa anavalia pete siku mm-hmm. za tumoni na pete. Mm-hmm. Anapokuja kwenye show yako muulize pete yake ilipeleka wapi? Wamefungua <laughs> mm? moyo wangu. Mm? Sijui hapo sasa sijui manake pete hupotea. Eh. Pete hupatia mtu allergies. Ah. Pete si lazima nani alisema lazima tuvae pete. Ah, ah. Wajua kuna kitu kimoja ubuyo anasema siku zote kila mm. mtu afagie kwake. Mm. Kama ufagio wako umekushinda nyumbani mm. se, se, sebuleni pale kuna uchafu. Mm. Kama uchafu ushaomaliza mm. enda kwenye pipo kwa uchafu mwingine ndio mm. umwage uanze tena kufagia. Uanze tena kufagia. Kwa sababu mara nyingi sana watu mm. wanapenda sana kujua maisha ya watu kwa ndani. Mm. Si vibaya. Mm. Lakini this is what I'll say. Frida mwaka sijawahi jitokeza peupe na nikawaambia kwamba huyu ndo mume wangu, hawa ndo watoto wangu, huyu ndo I've never. Mm. Na nina sababu zangu, mm. mimi na familia yangu, sisi tuko sawa. Mm. Unaona? Kwa hivyo kama ni kitu ambacho sijawaletea machoni mwenu, sijui kwa nini tena mnataka kukijua. Mm. Lakini cha msingi ni kwamba media people wapo kwenye ndoa. Tatizo tu ni kwamba sisi tunasikika na tunaonekana. Mm. Divorces in happened left right and center with mm. so many people. Mm. Lakini tunasikia tu za wanahabari na celebrities. Mm. Lakini zipo zinatokea mm. na wanahabari wengi wapo kwenye ndoa. Mary Kilobi hivi si mke? Mm, okay. Brenda Radido si mke? Eh? Ndoa ziheshimiwe. Mm-hmm. Na ndoa pia vile vile si rahisi. Kuna wakati nilikuwa nasikiza gospel Ross Muhando akiimba mm. kitu kama hicho. Mm. Akasema ndoa ishimiwe na nani? <laughs> <laughs> Shida ya kwamba sisi ni wanahabari just because we are in the spotlight. Mm. Na si ndoa peke yake. Hata mm. mwanahabari akiwa mgonjwa ishalipuka. Mm. Mwanahabari akionekana kila mahindi barabarani kama mimi napenda Mutura sana. By the way I'm very offended. You do not put Mutura on this table. Napenda Mutura sana. Mimi nala Mutura na enjoy Mutura. Mm. Mtu ashakupiga picha. Ya kazi gani? Mm. Jamani, namuache hii tabia. Loft akienda zake vacation. Whoever Loft is with sawa mm. Frida kienda zake vacation mm. sawa muache kupiga picha inawasaidia mm. nini kwanza hao watu wa nje hao ndio wanamaliza wanajaribu kumaliza ndoa za wanahabari watu wa unasema hao viewers mm. watazamaji mm-hmm. hivi basi mkiniona mimi nimesimama tu na jamaa ambao lina misuli tinginya kidogo tu uh, mrefu kidogo uh, eh? dark and handsome dark and handsome told dark and mshasem Frida mwaka has dumped her husband one wanasema meet eh. Frida Mwakaz. Hey. Eh. 
Eh. Uliona juzi wakaniweka kwenye gazeti mimi na Joa Geo. Watu wana adabu. Mambo ya dunia haya. <laughs> Bosi wangu. Mambo ya dunia haya. Mshaniweka kwenye front page. <laughs> I'm like what is this guys? So what waache papara papara. Mm. Mm. Mambo kama hayo. Mambo ya mwisho neno la mwisho labda kuhusu watu watarajia nini wana nini eh, the future of media mm. digital journalism mm. uhuru wa wanahabari. Mambo ni mengi tujazungumzia. Mambo ni mengi mm. na lakini what I can say and especially to the girl child mm. uh, do not stoop too low to get a job. Mm. Freedom work I did not sleep with anyone. I did mm. not scratch anyone's back mm. to get any job. I mm. worked hard and i prayed mm. na wakati wa Mungu ulipofika Mungu mwenyewe aliniheshimisha mm. akakunguta mavumbi yangu mm. akanipandisha katika cheo ambacho mwenyewe singetarajia mm. na pia uki, ukipandishwa cheo haswa mm. sisi kama wanhabari mm. tusingiwe na kiburi nimekutana mm. na wanhabari wengi sana mi mwenyewe natembea nao labda mashabiki wanawasalimia mwanhabari anaonyesha mshabiki ni kama si mtu say hi to your fans you know mm. najua ni vigumu sana ku respond to their messages on sometimes it can be overwhelming lakini kama una nafasi wasalimie washabikie and i think that's why people really relate with me and lofty because we say hi to our fans mm. you know and that's why we are calling them for the meet and greet on the 10th of november mm. but yote tisa pia sasa hivi one habari umechukua mkondo tofauti mm. we have now the digital transformation mm. it's been very hard for traditional media mm. and that is why you see hata contract zetu ukizisoma na ukizichambua vizuri mm. kidogo zinaudhi. Mm. Unapata kitambo kama mwanhabari haungeruhusiwa kufanya mambo ya, yako ya ya huku nje kuwa mm. mfawidhi kuwa nini. Mm. Lakini with the digital transformation it's a very big challenge to mm. traditional media and that's why I'm proud of you Obuya for doing this because this is literally digital transformation. You know you're moving away from the newsroom in as much as you're telling us what is happening inside the newsroom. So tuikumbatie na pia tusiingiwe na hofu sana na tusipoteze ethics zetu kama wanhabari. Kwa sababu utapata habari zote unazozitaka kwenye TikTok. Lakini siku zote mwanhabari amepitia darasani. Anajua ni kipi cha kuweka, ni kipi ambacho sifai kuweka. Mm. Social media sikupatie ile papara ya kwamba mmeona obuya sha post kitu pia wewe nao mwanhabari umekimbilia unataka kukosa. We still have our ethics that mm. we need to to stand with our ethics and mm. to obey our ethics but at the same time Mm. Let's enjoy the transformation. Mm. You're yet to see a lot from Frida a lot on social media. I think mm. I'm one of the few uh, news anchors with a huge following on mm. social media. You're yet to see a lot on TikTok, mm. a lot of me, a lot of dancing, a lot of cooking mm. and at the same time a lot of mentorship. Mm. So, yeah. So that sounds like a good place to end this interview. It is and uh, inshallah Mungu akiridhia tukutane pia kwenye serikali. Oh. <laughs> Serikali ya mwaka gani? Serikali nyingi. You never know. Hmm? Kama Kanzeden alikuwa msemaji wa kike. Mm. Wa serikali. Sasa hizi tuko pala na mwanaisha Chizuga. Yupo mwanaisha. Mm. Kuna Najma Ismail. Tutajua Frida mwaka Mungu atamweka wazi. Tuna Najma Ismail. Lakini keep this keep this contact. Mm. You will need it. <laughs> When the time is right. You will need it when the time is right. Thank you for having joined inside the newsroom. It has been uh, my pleasure to host Frida Mwaka and she says that there's a lot that you are yet to hear from her. The journey of 10 years mm -hmm. and still going and uh, launching something new this coming November alongside Lofty Matambo and you need to stick and wait for it. Mm -hmm. This has been inside the newsroom. I have been your host Brian Obuya until next week. Remember the show is brought to you by Bet Kumi. Visit www.betkumi.com and experience the best of casino gaming in the country. Siku zote nasema niite Freedom Walker, nitaitika.